Ezra, you can't tell anyone about this, okay? And ruin everything we have. Hilarious. I'm just saying whatever happened, never happened. I love it when you get sassy. I'm not fucking playing, don't say shit. Whatever you say, officer. And no fucking teeth, okay? But I like teeth. Now I know what you're thinking. Ew. He's wearing a jacket with a built-in hood. And when I tell you that's what I fucking said, that's what I fucking said. Hi. I'm Ezra Gray. A psychotic Gemini, according to my best friend Gwen. She's a Leo. And I guess what you weak, brittle, and not to mention frail human things call a vampire. What I've managed to gather from being alive for 400 years is that these people think they're Jesus amongst dirt. Humans act like they know everything, when in reality, they know nothing. And that's why. And we were talking about Mercy Lewis. She was accusing Tichuba of witchcraft. But Tichuba was safe because she's the slave of the great minister Samuel Paris. Later though, she is executed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, that's literally not what happened, but go on. I'm, how would you know? I mean, I could also just manage my expectations, considering this is the same species that invented Jersey Shore and Veggie Tales. But still. Because Tichiba and I were girls, besties, we'd exchange spells for down gauze. I mean, like, okay, if this class is a joke to you, feel free to let yourself out. See what I mean? What I have noticed is these people have created some kind of repressed kink. I'm all about the chase, but whatever weird modern societal bullshit they put on each other around here is so embarrassing. Toodles. The thing about being dead is I have nothing to live for, and yes, Nancy Drew, if you haven't gotten it yet, I'm dead. Well, like, vampire dead. These people might as well be dead, since none of them are actually living their lives. Okay, as I was saying. So for now, I'll just sit back, relax, and vibe. And before anyone gets mad at me, he had a girlfriend. I think. Kisses. the new guy in our economics class today. He was so fizzy I could die. Damn it, really? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, fuck me for having an early lunch. This is Gwen, my BFF, my ride or die, my Bessie and a Tessie. She takes nothing from no one. Okay, we got a very special treat for you. Our guest speaker, please give her a warm welcome, Amber. Amber, everybody, Amber. Is this thing on? <laughs> It's not because there's no microphone. Thank you, Professor Smith, for this wonderful introduction. Hi, my name is Amber, and yes, I am a part of this university's diversity club. What's your diversity? Thank you. I am so glad you asked. I, my ancestors, my great, 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 great grandfather was actually from Holland. Yeah, he was a farmer there. Bet you wouldn't expect that, huh? <laughs> he was. Anyways, I'm, I'm here to tell everybody that there is a social mixer tonight, and yes, all races are invited. Totally get what you're saying. I mean, like, typical white people. And my grandparents are Italian, so... Fuck this. Oh, we're so sorry to see you go. I mean, we would love to have people like you in our club. Just leave your email at the door. 
people like what? You know, diverse. I do not need to sit here and tune your moral compass just so you can feel better about using people of color to supplement your own personal gain and lack of trauma. You know what? You colonizers, you, you included, just because you are tan does not make you oppressed, okay? The diverse are not pawns for you straight white people to grow as a community. Thanks. I'll definitely leave my email at the fucking door. That was so iconic. Great. You coming? A play by me. I scripted that entire interaction just to teach you people a lesson. Now I'll be presenting a song that I wrote called Colorblind. This world is filled of different colors and different shapes and sizes too. And since that moment, we've been BFFs. However, she doesn't know, um, you know. He was extra tasty. Oh, I bet. I'm sure you'd see him, you know, if you ever showed up to class. Okay, I believe in learning from experience. A book can only teach you so much. Mm. Ugh, it's my mom. So annoying. We have this family reunion thing tonight. My uncle's introducing us to his new 20-year-old girlfriend. Okay, but that sounds like so much fun. You even talk to your family? Does Satan still talk to Jesus? Okay. If I wanted a headache, I'd listen to a straight white man talk about the female body. Mm. At all? Not even the cool cousins? I have one cousin, and she's actually insane. Mm. Like, trust me, these people are wicked, and not in, like, the Broadway musical way. Well, this bruja needs to fly away to class. I'll catch you later. Bye. Peace. From my studies, if I did have to say one positive thing about the human race, it's that their desire for love is just so intriguing. I tried to find love once, and let me tell you, mission not accomplished. As a vampire, aka an agent of Satan, the holy tradition of marriage or love is not reserved for us. A distant dream in a faraway realm. But I can definitely see or envy its appeal. Tonight, 65 Day Fiance. Carl, meeting you has changed my life forever. And I can't wait to spend the next 65 days with you. Oh my god, I'm so happy for them. I don't want to be with you, Janelle. <gasps> T. But for now, I'll just enjoy judging from afar. Movies tonight, let's talk about it. Anything bloody. Nashville Lawn Mower Rampage Vibes out. Fabulous. Let's do it. I am so sorry. Save it, jockstrap. What exactly was this? Red velvet iced coffee? I have an iron deficiency, okay? It's mixed with vitamins. Oh my goodness, my mom has an iron deficiency. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Um, sorry I was being rude. Would this be a bad time to ask where room C16 is? It's just... Over there. I'm Ian, by the way. Ezra. Well, if I see you again, I owe you another drink. I'm not you flirting with the fizzy from economics. I have to have him. Did you hear it? 
We found your little cousin, Ezra. What? 